Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I'm going to share on this 2453 module. This watch I'm using now is G3000 series and if you watch that uh, unboxing or review video for this model, you'll see that there are a lot more G-Shocks that looks differently but operates on the similar bond module. So. <laughs> Just in case you own any one of those, or just in case you own a watch that operates on 2453, I hope you'll find this video just a little bit useful as well. And by the way guys, I already covered like 50% of the module in the review video. So if you just want to have a look roughly, go check the video out. If you just want to have a look on the details, this will be the video for you. Okay. One, two, three, four buttons and one in the middle here for the EL light button. All four just swapping out standard, uh, I'm gonna say this medium size button, still and still. Anyway, at home time we're gonna have a look at day, date and time hugely displayed in the middle. You are able to see the time quite from a distance so this is indeed a very nice piece for uh, regular people who just don't care much about other com complications, you just wanna tell time. Anyway. If I press mode once, we will enter the mode called the Tele Memo. This is where you can store the telephone number. Uh, most vintage G-Shock operates or have these features built in them. You can store up to 8 letters for the lettering over here. And also some numbers down there. Alright, let me press it just up here to show you guys all the letters that you could input in this watch. Zoom in a little bit. You can toggle with those using this upper and lower uh, right button. I'm gonna press and hold it and just show you guys all the letters that you are able to store in here. T U V X Y Z and some numbers and we will repeat back to yeah to all the lettering. Okay that's for the numbering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and bam going down to number. So this will be all the numberings, zeros, uh, whatever number, I'm not sure where uh, you're living, but you're gonna have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units of numbers. So I'm pretty sure that will fit to most uh, carrier, but anyway, you can store up to 30 units of information, by the way, and it will sort out based on uh, alphabet. So capital letter A, where it is? will be displayed first and then we'll go to the next letter uh, store in here so that's how all this information will be arranged similar to your phone book press mode we will go to the next one which is the alarm on number one alarm number two number three number four snooze and signal of course press this upright button to turn on the signal I there is let's turn this news alarm instead all this bam all have been turned on and if I want to adjust this, of course I could do so, I'm pressing the adjust button up here and I could change the hours, the minutes for this alarm to ring. Wait, hours, minutes, and that's pretty much it though. You cannot set any specific date in here. Press adjust, finish with this alarm mode. Press mode, you can see now everything has been turned on, alarm signals, news. Now we are into the stopwatch mode. This part is pretty much simple, when I turn this thing on up here, the animations will continue synchronizing with this part over here. So each of these bars will represent 5 seconds. When we reach 15, look at that, 3 bars. When we reach 20, it's gonna be 4 bars and there. Not as useful, but at least you have something to have a look or fun to operate with. That is one of the thing about Kiasu g -Shaw. they are fun to play around with, other than being tough and very solid build. This will be the timer mode. Press just up here to set the timer uh, for, let me say guys, the, it will max out to 24 hours over there and it will only be at the last 10 seconds. That's pretty much it. You can not set any of those auto repeat in here or flash alert. So keep it in mind. Alright, press just and finish with this timer mode. Press mode. We will go to world time or dual time in this case so it will you are able to add every 30 minutes or minus every 30 minutes down here will be current local time up here will be the dual time of course gonna add 30 minutes 21 
33. You can just fast scroll by pressing it, of course. Keep pressing it will fast scroll by adding every 30 minutes or minus every 30 minutes. And just in case you want to reset this thing back to your local time, press it just button up here and bam, it will reset back. Look at, look at that. Similar to local time right now. And done on this dual time. Very easy watch. Very simple. And that's done over here. And let's move on to the EL lighting on here. It will glow pretty bright in blue colorway, which is pretty rare. So almost the shot comes in green EL. So pretty unique. And if I press this light button in a well lit room right now, you're not, you're not gonna see anything at all. You need to cover it up and look at that. At home time as well, if you press this forward or lower right button, you could change to 12 hour time format or 24 hour time format. Uh, let's go with uh, 24. And if I press this upper right button and press and hold it, nothing gonna happen at all. If I press this button and hold it, it will go back to home time. Nothing much gonna happen over here. And let's turn on the task screen. Three buttons at the same time and here it is. And at the same time, it will reset the watch to its default display, which is negative, positive, and negative display in red colorway. So this is the main feature, the main specialty for this model. You are able to change the display up to 12 variations. And how to do so is by going through this adjust button up here at home time. Press and hold it. There it is. And seconds will stop blinking. You can set the watch, of course, over here, similar to most G-Shock. Press this mode button over here, DST will appear, on or off, press mode again, you are able to set the hours, the minutes, the calendar year, the months down there, and the date down there as well. Press mode, COL will appear, this is color, this is where you are able to set the display over here. This is kind of a neat thing as well, you are able to play around with the display to match with your outfits or match with your uh, mode or whatever. So, Nice thing as well to have by pressing this upper or lower right button over here. I'm just gonna press this lower right button over here, and you're gonna see that this uh, letter or the number will change to red or black, or this below layer over here will go to positive or negative uh, red, or up here as well. Look at all this circle thing, 3i over here will also change as well to positive and negative. Look at that, everything will turn to red, negative, red with black lining at the back there and also in negative when red when it turns to negative the display will be red that's just keep that in mind all right press mode again look at that everything will go to positive no more red just plain positive but the time display over here is actually on the upper layer similar layer as the col if you look at it from here when i press this button again you will see that this letter will go down to the bottom layer bam look at that so that's a slightly different there. That is already considered to be the third or the fourth display. Press again. Everything is still on positive, but only the display in the middle will be in red. You can play around with that just in case you want to be able to tell the time better. You want something that's a little more colors, go with this type of display. Or if you don't like this one, you can keep pressing this button down here. And look at that. Only this below layer will go to negative at the same time in red colorway. Everything else will be in positive. Kind of be able to change your watch from positive to negative without needing to change the polarized filter in the display panel. So very neat thing as well. Look at it. If I press this again, uh, also in negative down here, but the display will move down. If I press again, the both of display will light on actually in red and black. It's, this bottom part will still remain in negative. Look at that now. The upper part is in negative, which is all at the same time as well in red colorway, and now the bottom layer will be in positive. If you don't want this part, you can just leave it in negative red, so you won't be uh, distracted by this part at the same time. This display, the most important part, will be displayed very clearly. Press this uh, button again, look at that. Again, all in red, negative, black and red. If I press again, it will go down, look at that. And look at that, everything in red, and bam, everything is positive. So let's go with all red colorway, which is the last of the 12, oh, I missed it, 12 uh, time, there is time display mode. All right, now everything is in negative. All right, let's press adjust. Let's say I'm, go I'm gonna go with this one, and when I am set my watch to this type of display, 
each mode will also be affected as well. Let me show you guys there it is. Everything will be in red and black. Everything will be red and black. Look at that. How cool is that? Let's try the stopwatch. Look at that. Red and black. There it is. Over here, same goes with the timer. And back to dual time and go back to home time. And if I press the light button when everything is in negative, it will automatically turn off the negative and look at that. This will allow you to tell the time better. Look at that. Look at that. Let me turn on the touch screen again to reset it back as well. There it is. There it is. This is the touch screen. Very simple type of touch screen actually. And that's I believe sums up all the things that you need to know on this G3000 G-Shock I hope you guys found this video a little bit uh, useful, informative and entertaining as well for your future reference leave a like if it does help you though and also subscribe to see more contents like this in the future thank you very very much for watching guys this is G-Shock high fashion channel and um what I'm on.